We just bought ourselves our dream four-wheel drive, a Toyota Land Cruiser 200 Series, and over the course of the next four weeks, we're gonna be transforming it from a dead stock vehicle into hopefully one of Australia's toughest touring wagons. Join us for the mistakes, the glory, and a whole lot of fun. The wait is over, because no one gave it. Far oh, out, yeah, that looks insane. Super special one planned today. This is going to be arguably the most exciting part of the build for me. We're down here at Tanami Four Wheel Drive. They're going to be doing the fit out in the back of Leroy. Well, soon to be named Leroy, I think. Super excited about this one. We're going to show you how these drawers are made. They're doing some really special stuff in here. Some of the stuff we can't film because it is a little bit secretive. Let's pop in, meet the boys, um, family run business, fully Australian made. Let's get in uh, and see what goes on in here. All right, so we're down here at Tanami Four Wheel Drive and Commercial. Not Tanami, it's Tanami. So if you say it wrong, they're gonna belt you. These guys are gonna be fitting out the, the back of the 200. Um, super keen on it. Explain Tanami and uh, what you guys do here. Pretty much, we just make drawers. <laughs> That's it. That's we make sweet. drawers, cargo slides. All our work's custom. So, yeah. so whatever you want, we can pretty much do. What Baz is trying to say is he makes people's dreams come true because. The back of people's four-wheel drives is arguably the most part, important part about their full drive and the livability of it. Um, and like Brad said, specialising custom work, family owned. Family owned, two boys. Noah and Jasper over there. They're the only ones working. Baz doesn't do much work in these <laughs> days apparently because... I've done it all. You've done it all, you've set it up. I've done it for 20 years. So it's... All right, let's walk around um, and see what makes these drawers special. Right, so let's, we can start here. So these have just been recently laser cut and folded. Basically goes from there, gets powder coated. Yeah, so a lot of the custom stuff we pour up and get it specifically done. So if I had a Silverado or a Ram or something massive and I came to you, would you be able to fit me out a set of drawers? Custom, custom for that? Yeah, for sure. All right, because the American truck scene, obviously, look at Nova. <laughs> American truck scene's growing in Australia, so if you do have an American truck, come down and see these guys, grab a quote, um, and they can do something pretty special for you, I reckon. So, so that's pretty much the, the, the starting point. Yeah. Um, and then obviously it gets powder coated. Powder coated, then we assemble it. for a Ram. Yeah, so, oh, this is for a Ram right here, guys. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty long, eh? So all your runners and stuff would be rated to like handle some pretty hefty weights. Oh, we rate this one at 300 kilos. Yeah. This sweet. has got a sunken fridge tray as well, so you can fit it under your tonneau. Yeah, sweet. This is, where it, this is where it starts. Obviously, it's custom as well. So our 200 series we've designed with Baz and the boys down here. So pretty well, it's been laser cut out, powder coated, and then it comes to this part of the build. Make it sound so easy, eh? Well, it is pretty easy. <laughs> it turns from these flat pack units. Well, I shouldn't say flat pack, it sounds like it's from Ikea, but. <laughs> Draws on the passenger side. Yep. And then we put the Bushman 85 litre sweet on the driver side. Yep. And then we've got electrics on the passenger side and compressor outlet and an isolator switch. Yep. With the inverter. We're going to have a fair few cables running through these things, which I'm pretty stoked to be wiring up. So these boys are going to fit it all out and um, I'm going to do the wiring. Yep and um, hopefully nothing goes bang. I am an electrician, so hopefully I don't short circuit anything, uh, including the fridge. So yeah, we've got an 85 litre Bushman and it's been my dream since I was a youngin that I'd have an upright fridge in the car. So like I said, you're making dreams come true, mate. Yeah, yeah. Hope your shit doesn't fall out the front. <laughs> <laughs> table too, so we're getting to pull that table up, aren't we? Yeah, so pull that table underneath. Yep. So that's gonna turn into a draw system, which is mind boggling. Let's get some work going, cause there's not a lot of work happening at the moment. All the boys have just stopped work, so we're filming. We can, oh, there we go. Plug in his business, let's go. <laughs>
right, so we've decided that we actually can't get our drawers made here because we found a very bad vow. Sacrilegial. Yeah, I, Jasper, Noah and Dad make a sacred vow to never consume KFC in this factory till the dawn of time. <laughs> That's shocking. That's shocking form, fellas. What are you doing? It's been broken. It has. Many it's, been... it's KFC Friday. KFC Friday. Is it Friday today? We're out of here. <laughs> It's Friday somewhere though. <laughs> 10 minutes later. Do you like KFC? Yeah. <laughs> Don't blink if you like KFC. So when I bought this business of this guy in Dramana, he had a 100 series, so he built this drawer system for his 100 series, and then he used to do GUs, GQs, um, and that was pretty much it, and he would not do any other vehicles. I was, in, I was next door doing like iron work, and he said, I'm selling up, so I said, oh, that's a good product. And when we bought it, there was like two other manufacturers, Black Widow, Iron Man, and that was the only competitors that it had. But, so, we just, so I bought it and the proviso that like weight has got to be an issue. But, so our motto was the weight is over, but no one gave a f because you know there was no cops driving around with like scales weighing things. Yeah. So, so now it's kind of you know come to that that's what people want. That's yeah. No and this is what we make. Put an extra washer on the back wall so when the door shuts, it like locks and doesn't rattle. Which no forward, rattles is good. The four wheel drive is worst nightmare. Yeah, rattles. Where's that noise coming from? That drives you insane, doesn't it? No. <laughs> What's your warranty like on these drawers if I'm doing it? I was literally just about to say that. It's void. It's voided. <laughs> with that big baby. So before we only had the single and the doubles are more than twice as quick as the singles. I don't know how that works, but they always are. Check out how well this is carpeted. How do you even get it around the corners like that? We roll it into the grooves. Look at that. Come and have a look at this out. Check it out. 
check that out. That is schmick. Insane. I didn't even think that was possible, eh? So a massive problem in our last car was I could not reach the fridge. I had to cut up on the back of the car and reach in there and stand on the tail bar. So this is going to be an amazing game changer. I can actually reach it. <laughs> what is it? 85 litre? Bushman's. Yeah. And so a little mirror in there so I can do my hair. <laughs> hey legends, I'm just editing this video and right now iTech World are having a massive sale up to 85% off. Uh, it's not for long. If you're interested in upgrading your 12 volt, now is the time. It won't be cheaper for a bloody long time. So for maximum savings, our discount code SKT, further discount on iTech's already cheap prices, but free shipping included as well. So get on that guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's it. We just need a Bushman's. So we're just doing a bit of a test fit. Oh, that's looking sick. All right, so before I show you, it looks pretty sick. It's got a sick rating of PG 13 plus. At the start of the day, this was just a pile of nuts and bolts, a couple of sheets of metal, nothing. <laughs> Check this out. It is a full U-Butte draw system. So this is rigid edge. It's gotten a bit heavier with these, but it's still lightweight compared to other manufacturers. Um, and we have to have lightweight stuff in the cruiser because everyone knows they don't have much payload. So it is amazing what a few hours can do. All right, so we're back at Tanamai, full driving commercial. Today is the big day. We're wiring up the dual battery system uh, in Leroy, the Land Cruiser. So the fridge is out, but the wings are in. So I'm gonna wire all these accessories up today. I'm actually going to do it all on the bench and then fit it off all at once. Um, highly recommend doing that if you are doing 12 volt fit outs. So much easier to wire it on a bench when it's flat and then install it and then fit off. Then try to fit off and install it all um, vertically. So I'll show you that in a minute. I've already mounted uh, half of the equipment and the hardware to the board itself. And we're actually hiding it on the back. So it needs to be neat. It's all visible. Um, so yeah. I've, gone and got some ducting, but I'll show you that in a minute. So swing around here and have a look. All right, so this is the board here. Uh, we're running the 2000 watt iTech World inverter. We've got a 200 amp hour lithium iTech World battery. We've got a little fuse block and I'm gonna put the cell five go booster here. Uh, we don't have that with us today, so I can't do it. We've got the ARB compressor. I've got to wire all that up and I'm hoping there's gonna be, well, there is gonna be a lid over the top of this. So you're only ever gonna see this up. So. I've just done a test fit, it all fits. I'm gonna rip this board out, put it back on the bench and start wiring. Like I said, easier to do it flat rather than vertical. Um, and it should take me about 26 hours to wire this up, I reckon, so let's get into it. everything up here I'm almost finished fitting off the back area here um, I think it looks pretty neat it's obviously not done yet still got some stray cables to tidy up but we've got the DC to DC 40 amp the inverter um, this is the uh, isolator slash fuse for the inverter we fused everything um, everything's still neat this is all the stuff that I've got to fit off still and I've got to put the battery in but we can't put the battery in until we get it in the back of the car I think it looks pretty good so far but hopefully it doesn't go bang um, I do trust myself, but it's been a while since I've been on the tools, so hopefully it doesn't go pop. So right now I'm bolting our uni struts to the existing uh, holes in the floor. So that's where the drawer system will sit on top. What do you want? Here it is. 
Just give us a bark. <laughs> Is that your dad? So we just got everything in, I've commissioned it, stoked, it all works straight away, first shot. Um, I was never in doubt, but I sort of was as well. So yeah, I'm so glad it's all in the back. This is getting the cover put on it, and we are missing our self go. So there's a few little gaps, but I'm pretty happy with it all looks. Like the, the custom ducting and stuff, hiding all the cables, um, it looks smick, eh? Like it's so good. We've just got to get the fridge in now, the Bushmans, and then that's a wrap. Everything's working, I'll test the Bushmans, and then it's probably beer o'clock time, I reckon, so. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Compressor's working. Um, we're getting the right voltages. Um, it's telling me how many amps are coming out of the battery. It's so easy to do, by the way. So the DC to DC chargers come with Anderson plugs. So you don't have to be this elaborate. You can literally just Anderson plug your, your, your feed and just plug it straight in um, to wherever it's going. And it's so easy to do. The inverters, you probably need to be a Sparky to do the, the 240 volt side. I'm pretty sure you, that's legal. You have to be an electrician. Um, but the 12 volt side's easy, it's just positive um, and, and an earth, and that's it. Battery's easy as, and yeah, the shunt that's actually telling us all the details on the draw system, which I'll show you in a minute, that's all coming from here. So pretty much you have a cable coming off your negative to the battery, to this side of the shunt, and then off the other side of the shunt is all your loads and the incomings. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I've, this, like I said at the start, this is my dream draw system, and to finally have it and be a part of building it is freaking awesome so i can't wait to show you guys more um yeah i'm, I'm bloody stoked Loctite. It's glue for your screw. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the drawers, 65. 65 kilos. 25 for the fridge. Yep. Um, the electric. That's 200 amp hour yeah. battery. So it's about 20 kilos. So it's got an inverter. Yep. Um, the charger. No, why are you taking the pen and paper away? <laughs> Come on. This is the notepad. This, and this is how Tanama do things properly. Look at this sturdy notepad. <laughs> we do the quick sums here. Uh, so I reckon we're in at about 120. 120 kilos. With, with the electric. And that's an empty draw system too. That's an add. empty draw. Yeah, well, but for this yeah. setup, 120 kilos. But I reckon if you were to do this in full ply, I reckon you'd be 150 plus. Is that fair to say? In your expert opinion. I think draw system itself would be probably double. In right. Ply. In yeah. ply. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so a, the draw system 65, so you probably look about 120. 20 kilos. And that's good. before you put a fridge and stuff in it. Yeah. So that's the, that's the thing about going alley. And you did say your motto at Tanami, the weight is over, but you did say... But no one gave a f 
You now, mate, they do people, now. people will now because GVMs are coming into it. Yeah. Cops are starting to crack down. But 20 years ago, no one no cared. One, no one cared. The wait is over. So we've been watching Sarah and Keelan for a long time and we thought they're like a genuine channel and we love what their, their content, so we decided to um, give them a call, see if they were interested. Yeah, and when he did that, I actually pretty much went straight on their Instagram and um, their website, and I actually knew about these guys before. I had no idea they were watching our videos, go figure, but um, I then found out that they make one of the lightest draw systems in Australia. I don't want to say the lightest, because some bloke in his backyard could probably make a set lighter, but he'd be using one millimetre aluminium. Probably not. <laughs> But anyway, that was a massive tick for us. Um, small family business that's Australian, another massive tick. That's why we went with these guys. Um, and I think the result speaks for itself. It's just epic and honestly, it's a dream come true for us. We've always wanted to set up like this and accommodate all our needs. And I know we are really needy people. It hasn't been a straightforward process. Have you had fun working with us? Oh, it's been hilarious. <laughs> From start to finish, it has been absolutely hilarious. And I reckon we could have done this in half the time if they weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon so too. The amount of fucking around we've done. Yeah, no, it's been a lot and of fun. tinkering. And we actually did some stuff today too, which I haven't mentioned and I haven't showed you that. You'll have to wait for the walk around. We've done something special, so it accommodates the surfboards now as well. Option four. So it's actually option four. So we've scrapped the options three times. This is the fourth option, so it gives you a bit of an idea. But yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you. And exciting times too, because these guys are giving away a set of drawers to one of you lucky people. So they will be announcing that firstly on their Instagram. So if you're interested in a free set of drawers, go over to Tanamai, Four Wheel Driving Commercials, Instagram, give it a follow. Plus you have to be subscribed to Sarah Kill and Travel. So they're the two main things. It's not getting given away yet, but it will be in the very short future. We're still deciding on the T's and C's for that one, but it's gonna happen. Um, and also, if you do come and see Baz and the boys down here and order a set of drawers from us, you've seen this video, mention our name, and he will give you a small discount on the price. So that's another little incentive to say thank you to you guys. Um, and yeah, these guys are legends. Can't get around their systems more. Um, yeah, so come down and uh, say good day.